All right, morning everybody here at Lazy Crane Farm. It's a quiet one, and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about apples, um, a potential deer bed, as well as an update on the cover crops that we planted out in the rows. And so today, you guys can see behind me, we have our Macintosh apples. Uh, they are ready to go. They are ready to be picked, and so we are gonna be spending probably the next couple of days um, picking these up. They go all the way up uh, the tree, and so we are going to be using our apple picker for that. And uh, it is time. And apple, Macintosh apples are mildly tart when they end sweet. Uh, and so they are very good, very tasty. We've been test tasting them every week to see if they're ready. And each week they've gotten less and less tart. So they are darn near ready. And so we're going to go ahead and harvest those um, in the next couple of days. So a couple of other things that are going on at the farm here is we think we have what is considered a bed up for deer. And so over in the flowers that we've uh, planted, all of our wildflowers, we've noticed that this area has been flattened almost daily. And so we are thinking that because it is such a large area, it is probably the deer. Now. Could it be another animal? Possibly, but really in essence, uh, if I was a deer, I'd want to sleep on this because it is super soft. Uh, and then you have the safety of the fence behind you. And so um, really if we wanted to check to see if it was deer, if the deer left any fur behind, uh, we haven't seen any. But uh, with all this matted down, it looks like it could be possibly deer. So. Maybe if we come out really early one day uh, to the farm, we might be able to catch them in the act. So we'll see. Um, we don't have a camera that we can kind of just set out that can capture it at night, but maybe uh, we might look into doing something like that because that'd be pretty cool to see. But other than that, uh, with all the wildflowers, right, we can see that they are still growing, that they're still uh, attracting all the beneficials that we like here at Lazy Cream Farm. And so if you want to look at the flowers as we go along you're more than welcome to i know erica's really happy about all of our flowers so far All right, so we are in the raised garden bed now and we wanted to give you guys updates on the blackberries. I know last time I said to you guys that they were almost ready. Um, they have been growing tremendously and we have finally gotten our first blackberries here and here. Uh, and so we're really excited. Um, they are native to uh, Illinois. So these are native blackberries and uh, we're really happy that they've produced in their first year. Um, this plant, as you guys can remember from the earlier videos, we didn't know if it was going to come back or not, but it has exploded and it has quite a few blackberries that are going to be coming up here soon. So really happy with that. And, uh, this is a native blackberry bush. Um, I don't know what the variety is, but, uh, you can always look it up online. Uh, I'll probably put it down in the show notes. Um, so if you want to buy it, you can look it up and plant it in your yard. All right, so we've moved over to the peas here, and um, one of the things that a lot of people forget is that peas can grow in the fall. Uh, there's no reason why they can't because they are a cool season crop, and so we decided to sow some peas uh, for the fall. And we got our trellises up here uh, using bamboo and garden wire, and this seems to work pretty well for us. Uh, you can see that the peas are growing pretty darn well. Uh, we finally have some cool weather which is good. It's been like 105 every day the last week, which was really kind of concerning about the peas because they don't like it super hot. But now that we are going to be getting down into the 50s again uh, at nighttime, then they should do much, much better. So they're growing. Um, this variety is the Sugar Ann. So these will not get as tall as the Sugar Snaps is what we had before. Uh, they should get probably about this height, maybe a little bit um, taller and uh, but they are a great sugar sugar snap I mean we, we've had no problems with them and pretty happy with it so 
those are peas. They are coming up and growing. All right, so I wanted to give you guys an update on our cover crops. We are doing a trial run of bursine clover and uh, annual ryegrass or winter rye as it's known. And so in our last video I said that I would really liked it because it only takes like three days to come up. And so here's our update. It's been about, uh, about eight, nine days since our last video. So let's go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. Alright, so um, you can see that we do have some weeds here, but we do have quite a bit of ryegrass. So here's some rye, here's some rye, here's our little clover guys here and here. Um, they are starting to fill in, which is great. Uh, we do have some weed pressure um, growing in, but you guys can see here that we do have some clover growing. We have some ryegrass, which has been really good. And so this is going to fill in and kind of rebuild our soil for us. Uh, we also wanted to have this to cover the ground during the winter time so that we don't lose more topsoil. Um, but yeah, really happy with uh, the bursting clover and the ryegrass. It is coming in pretty good. So you guys can see this here and here. Everything's still a little wet um, from all the dew this morning. But, uh, but yeah, really excited. So we'll go ahead and start adding that in to um, our other beds. Um, I do have some weeding that I need to do uh, to give these clover guys and ryegrass uh, a chance. But so far, I've been pretty happy with it um, and I can't really complain. So, oh, I'm in the sun here. So yeah, so that's uh, the updates for today. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, I'm now getting hit in the face with the sun and so it's making me squint a little bit. But overall, everything's been kind of getting ready for fall here. Uh, we're going to start changing over all of our beds to cover crops so that we can uh, get them ready for winter. So we still have a lot of work to do, but um, that's why we're doing this. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.